The coronavirus has a friend. So the coronavirus has a friend. That's a scary thought, isn't it? But it happens to be true. It has already infected more people than COVID-19. There is a cure, and I'm going to give it to you. What you do with it is entirely up to you. The simple fact is that human beings are highly social animals, and it's nature to feel and need to communicate with family and friends in normal times. And it's an important way to provide support and comfort to them. But we don't live in normal times anymore. Coronavirus may have already taken a great deal from you and I, but it is now testing three important things that cannot be taken from us. They can only be given away by us. The first is our sense of social responsibility. That normal, natural and reasonably expected level of responsibility towards other people, society and human beings in general. The second is our character. Those mental and moral qualities that are distinctive to each of us and make us better, more thoughtful, considerate, part of the solution. The third thing is our emotional intelligence. You know, our ability to be aware of, control and express our feelings in an adult and mature way. And how we manage interpersonal relationships and empathise with others. Coronavirus is and will continue to test all three. So it's not about being isolated that matters. It's what we do about it. How we use our time to our own brain to gain pleasure instead of focusing upon the emotional pain. We can complain or we can contribute. We can worry or wage war against it. And we can feel sorry for ourselves or grasp the opportunity to do something positive and constructive. And I'm here to tell you that life is absolutely not about what happens to us. It's about what we do about it that matters. We can talk to others, learn a new skill, spring clean our home, write that book we've always said we wanted to write, or countless other things. We can take our mind to a positive place and feel positive things. Why would we choose to do anything else given the choice? So do something positive each day. Ask yourself, how bad can this be, being stuck at home, watching the television, playing games, reading a book, cutting the grass. Certainly for most of us, it's a lot better than it could be. Ask yourself, how do I want to feel? What can I be doing now in my home that will make me feel that way? Practice an attitude of gratitude and find 20 things that you have to be grateful for. Become more mindful. Question your thoughts and your feelings. Ask yourself, why do I think or feel this way? I can assure you it won't be about being in lockdown. It will be about something else. Something that you've learned to practice that has now become a habitual thought or feeling. Always remember that this will come to an end. It may not be today, tomorrow or even next month, but it will end. And when it does, will you be better prepared for the future or just the same as you were before you went into lockdown? So tell me something. What else are you going to do with your time in lockdown? Watch TV? Tweet? Message and generally distractively entertain yourself? Or use this as an amazing opportunity to do something that, with the best will in the world, you may never have the spare time or the opportunity to do ever again? <laughs>